a $9,000 PC. You believe that, Nate? No, sir. <laughs> I'm struggling to fathom a consumer grade system that totals to such a price. I mean, I'm sure there are certainly you know, ways to, to blow senseless amounts of cash on borderline useless glitz and glamor, right? You could have pure gold graphics card backplates. I don't know, what else, Nate? Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. <laughs> But in a PC that makes sense, it's just that that's a bit of a stretch. I'm gonna press that doubt button on the $9,000 asking price. So let's see just how out there this marketplace listing is. Stay with me. The Corsair Vengeance 6182 gaming and editing rig is a beast to behold with its Ryzen 7 3700X, RX 5700XT, and of course, 16 gigs of Dominator Platinum memory. Packed full of premium Corsair components and synced with IQ, you'll enjoy a cohesive RGB experience with near limitless customization. The Vengeance 6182 is a pre-built design with power and efficiency in mind, and you can learn more by clicking the link below. So when you think of a $9,000 PC, what do you imagine is inside? I mean, surely if it's as valuable as a decent used car, it's like, geez, my first car was less than that. So I feel really inadequate now, but it's gotta have some crazy powerful components. I mean, maybe like an overkill Threadripper chip, I don't know, maybe dual Titan Vs. It needs to be a custom loop though, for sure. I think we can all agree on that. And the case needs to be made of solid gold. Okay, maybe that, yeah, the last one was an exaggeration, but you get the idea. You have, you have a picture in your head of what a $9,000 system entails. And then you succumb to reality. This is not a 3990X in here. It's not even a 3970X. Heck, it's not even a 1090DXC. It's not even a 3950X. It's a freaking Core i7-8700K. Not even current gen. And in a $9,000 system at that. Yeah, I'm gonna continue to reiterate that point about the price. An 8700K will get you six cores, 12 threads, solid boost frequency, it's a great gaming CPU. Plenty of overclocking headroom, especially in a custom loop like this, and moderate temps when delitted. but it won't get you $9,000 worth of performance, that's for sure, even when coupled with the best graphics cards on the market. And uh, I've got more bad news. These aren't the best consumer cards on the market. These are Titan XPs, or the Titan X Pascal versions. Titan cards are, you know, traditionally they've been among the best cards for gamers and developers outside of arguably the Quadro series, which are just kind of business-oriented graphics cards, but the value often isn't there, even in the used market. They're rarer, sure, but you can usually extract around 90 plus percent of a Titan, you know, Titan X or a Titan XP's performance from a comparable 80 series TI card. In this case, it would be a 1080 Ti. Both rely on the Pascal architecture, both are adequate for mid to heavy 4K gaming, and both consume similar amounts of power, and yet the Titan XP's MSRP is considerably higher. Go figure, that's NVIDIA logic, but people still buy them, so can we really blame them? But we're talking about clearly used graphics cards at this point, and Titan XP's are going for less than 1,000 USD on eBay. I mean, these are OBO listings here. The significantly smarter buy would be a used 1080 Ti, which can you know be found for around 400 bucks, maybe a little over that for a special AIB card. Again, 90 plus percent of the performance, maybe even more than that if you overclock. And, and this entire argument ignores a crucial point about SLI, like the fact that it isn't really worth it thanks to hugely diminishing returns on the second card. This is the case especially for newer titles. But the point is, this guy's overpriced the system as though the Titans are new. And even if actually you take into account a new Titan XP's price, you still don't get anywhere near nine grand. So uh, that's a big no-no. But you'd need to know a thing or two about Pascal cards to see the real problems here. I mean, you Google Titan XP and you realize it's the best card that was ever launched in that generation, but you also need to know, first off, that SLI isn't really worth it, and two, Titan cards just aren't traditionally good value buys. They're not really sensible buys for someone who, uh, yeah, to an extent at least, values his or her dollar. I mean, let's be frank, but whatever, okay? I'll do with the Jay's Two Cents thing. I digress. Two Titan XP's on eBay will set you back 1600 bucks, voila. The 8700K is a cool 300 bucks or so. The Maximus 11 Formula motherboards around 400 bucks and the 64 gigs of Triton Z DDR4, 
that's another 400 bucks. That puts us at $2,700 for the meat of the system. The case, an SMA8, is difficult to put a value on since they don't really make these anymore. The company went out of business a few months or years ago. But similar models range online between four and 600 bucks. These are all secondhand because again, they don't make them now. The power supply is an AX1600, which is a pretty beefy PSU, around 400 bucks. And the custom water blocks, reservoirs, and fittings are easily another thousand bucks or so. And look, I'm assuming new for these products, but I'm sure even if I've underestimated anything, we're still light years away from the $9,000 asking price. $9,000. There's no mention of storage of any kind, which is the seller's fault, not mine. And there's no mention of peripheral, so I'm gonna assume he's not throwing any of those into the sale. And there are other issues associated with this listing, if you couldn't already tell. This lube is in dire need of a flush. Actually, Okay, make that two flushes, the dual loop, twice the work. The white coolant has clearly separated. It's not looking too good as is. And uh, like, I wouldn't feel comfortable running it without heavy duty maintenance. You'll then want to stress test for several hours and check every fitting for leaks, especially if this system hasn't been used very much. And uh, the seller has been pretty upfront about the fact that it hasn't been used very much. I mean, it's what, light use, something like that. Who buys a system like this for light freaking use? I'm not sure if I'd buy that. There are also many potential issues with a build like this associated with, you know, leaks over time. And it's one of the reasons why I tend to shy away from custom loops in the used market. Look, hiring someone to build a new custom loop for you, it's a totally different thing. And uh, I just wanna throw that out there, right? Since those parts are likely new and you probably trust the builder or know the builder personally enough for, you know, prolonged visual stress testing, which is important. Something I imagine would be pretty difficult to do with a complete stranger. It's just a, kind of a recipe for disaster. It's kind of chaotic and not really worth it. I mean, look, if you're, you know, inexperienced with PCs and you're looking in the used market for a fully built system up front, you'll probably be in over your head to begin with anyway with a custom loop. So maybe stay away from those. Not to mention flushing systems like these, uh, that's no simple task. So look, I've got nothing against the build itself. It's very unique looking, definitely a work of art. And to be honest, the combination of hardware, it's not, all that terrible either. I mean, my issues with the Titans is really only relevant in the used PC context because when this was brand new, they were undeniably the best things you could buy for gaming and I'm sure any other commercial application he or she was using. Sure, you're paying for the name, kind of like you pay for the name of a car, right? But we do that again, with many other things in our lives. How this person spent his or her money is his or her decision. And it's at least somewhat justified just based on what I can see, you know, parts wise. But what I don't agree with is how the system is currently priced. Okay, I'm gonna take a step back and breathe before I start this monologue. Your custom gaming rig doesn't magically appreciate over time and you've done absolutely nothing in this description that comes even close to justifying the asking price. Maybe you're hoping some uninformed individual comes along with a wad of cash in his pocket and falls in love with this thing. I'm sure it's possible. And I'm sure it's happened too many times before. But at this point, what you're asking for the system is a downright scam. You're trying to scam somebody and spending way more than you know they should for that system. Using a custom loop to upcharge by a factor of four is a ridiculous tactic that won't fool any of us. My only hope is that whoever does find interest in it and who might not be as savvy as we are, has also seen this video because I don't want you to make $9,000 off of this system. That's just, it's, it's, it's scammy, it's scummy, whatever you want to call it. I just, I think it's distasteful outright. At the end of the day, you can charge whatever you want for your stuff. But it doesn't mean I don't have the right to critique your rationale. Call it a critical review, call it satire, call it whatever the heck you want, I don't freaking care. Ads like these are disgusting and I sincerely hope it doesn't sell for this price. $9,000? Nine freaking grand, Nate, you hear that? It's insane, literally. You need to be insane or filthy rich and careless to pay this much for a system. Don't do the seller a massive favor. Please don't. Stay away from it until the price is massively adjusted. That's assuming it even is. And I have a feeling it probably won't be. Someone's gonna fall for it. Someone with a lot of money. Happens all the time, I'm sure of it. If you guys like this video, thumbs up, click the red subscribe button. I'll catch you in the next one. Sorry for the rant. My name's Greg. Thanks for learning with me. So, like, there are several issues associated with this thing, but there are also, I'm falling behind on the script. <laughs> But we're talking about, and these are obvious. Wait, what? Flushing systems like these is also no simple task. Look, so. But I don't agree with how the current system. 
but I don't agree with... You gotta let it catch up. Take a half step back. Okay. I, I'm sure I even overestimated... Un underestimated. I need to slow down. So, yeah, two flo... Dang it, dang it. Okay. Using a custom loop to duck... Oh, 